Wizard101 has a chat filter system that is used to keep players safe. If you cheat your way around the chat filter, there can be various consequences such as a warning, a temporary muted account, a permanent muted account, or a termination of the account entirely. Games that are rated PG have strict chat rules for a reason. Following these chat rules is important not only for the well-being of your own account, but for the well-being of other people's experiences in the game. Large games with over a million players should have a well-thought-out and ethical warning-slash-banning system. However, it's become apparent that Wizard101 falls short of this standard. Many of us may have noticed the odd choices of chat censorship that exists within the game. But it was not brought to my attention until recently that there exists massive flaws within the game's disciplinary system that not only puts innocent players' accounts in jeopardy, but also manages to neglect punishment for players with actual malicious intentions. For example, should a player using the word crap receive the same consequences as a player using a racial slur? It's no surprise that players can be toxic. But the way that Wizard101 handles these situations should be a no-brainer. The flaw in the chat system is very evident. But unfortunately for Wizard101, it's not that simple. Take this Reddit post for example. I got this warning when I was questing with my friend. Should I be concerned? I don't know what I did or said to warrant this message. In this chat log, you can read that the player isn't saying anything that should result in them receiving a warning. That was me when I did Winter Tusk. And wow, Winter Tusk was so tough for level 42. 44. I'm too lazy to do Grizzleheim. I feel that. I held off on Winter Tusk until level 80 on my Fire Wiz, lol. I think I did something similar, like level 60 or so. And then, that's when they got the warning. In this warning, they have been threatened with a mute, suspension, or banning of the account. Is this really a violation of the terms of service? Or, take my experience as another example. My friends and I were in her castle discussing another game. In an effort to bypass the chat filter, she says C-R-A space P H-O-L space E. Shortly after, I get a warning on my account and an email sent to me from King's Isle. She got nothing. In the email, note, Should you continue to engage in any type of behavior that violates the terms of use, your account can be permanently banned. My account is now flagged for being near someone who said C-R-A space P H-O-L space E. In the chat log, it reads, I did it, thanks for waiting with me. You're welcome, are we done for the night? I think that's enough questing for tonight. Me too. I had fun. Same, lots of progress. Yeah, I guess. Did you make a farm on Animal Crossing New Horizons? No, why? I'm working on making the town not a C-R-A space P-H-O-L space E. Don't you want pumpkins? I do, just give me time. Do you want me to help you tonight? You can't. I just got a warning. From where? I'm emailing King's Isle. I don't know what just happened. So clearly something isn't right here. Why is it so easy for Wizard101 to throw out false warnings, mutes, and bans to people who aren't breaking terms of service? And why does the game still allow racist slurs, curse words, and toxic behavior without receiving any consequences whatsoever? I always knew there were issues with the system but my eyes have really been opened up to it lately. These next few screenshots and video clips contain slurs that I will partially censor. So in this screenshot, you can see Cheryl Pixie Flame and Adrian Pixie Grove are talking in the chat and being extremely racist. Behavior like this should not be tolerated. So in this screenshot, I blurred a lot of it for obvious reasons, but I just want to show you the different ways that you can say the n-word and get around the chat filter. This is not okay. In this screenshot, you can see that Wolf used a slur, which I am kind of baffled that that's even allowed in the game. And here is another screenshot where you can see that this person is yet again saying the n-word and being extremely disgusting. Not only is this unacceptable behavior from the players, but it's unacceptable game monitoring. Wizard 101 is way too big of a game to be allowing this type of behavior. 
These are the types of people that deserve warnings, mutes, and bans. These issues have already been discussed with King's Isle from many other people complaining about their unethical system. Yet, the problem is still here and it doesn't seem that King's Isle has done much to fix it. Could it be that their priorities are on other things, such as revenue? It's possible. But in my opinion, player safety and a banning system without errors should be focused on before anything else. A game like this will not thrive to its top potential if it allows harassment from toxic players and punishes obedient players. Too many innocent players have suffered the consequences of the broken system while not enough bullies have been punished. It is not my goal to get on the bad side of Wizard101, but as someone with a platform built up by its community, I feel the need to voice this. It is unacceptable and it needs to be fixed. Please protect your good players and punish the bullies. I would love to know your guys' thoughts on this issue, and if you have anything that you would like to say, please leave a comment down below. I really hope that Wizard101 can find a way to fix this system, so let me know what you have to say down in the comments. Thank you for watching! Bye!